This guy was like the trophy friend of everyone he knew. <laughs> He's the kind of guy you invite to hang out in really public places just to show him off. <laughs> I was really starting to like this guy. But then he went abroad and I never saw him again. Aww. I know, that won't happen to any of you. But it was okay. Um, the silver lining is I don't think it would have worked out anyway. On our date, he was wearing black no-show socks. Often, my socks don't even match. In high school lacrosse, I was, I was the one kid wearing long wool hiking socks at practice. I think this reveals some great incompatibility between the two of us that would have surfaced eventually. <laughs> Maybe when he got poison ivy and I didn't due to my long socks, <laughs> or when he got sunburned on his ankles. <laughs> But he really did have nice ankles. <laughs> People said it made him slutty, but they were really worth showing off. <laughs> anyway, I think there's a lot of overlap between therapist talk and flirting. Have any of you felt like a therapist tonight? <laughs> there are just so many questions applicable to both. For example, is this your first time? <laughs> to see 
um, their kid like really get upset when they lose one part of them, one little piece, <laughs> or show them off proudly to their friends. Anyway, um, I had a party the other night and I invited a bunch of people and this one girl emailed me three days in advance. She Venmoed me, sorry. She Venmoed me three days in advance. This meant at least one person was definitely going to come. <laughs> it also was just really impressive. She clearly had her shit together. She probably knows the ty best type of apple to go on a pie, which apparently is golden russet, sweet 16, and sweet tango. <laughs> she probably washes her clothes on cold, as is good for the environment, and has researched the effect of laundry detergent on whales. It's not looking good. <laughs> She even knows the cubic footage of her laundry machine. Hosting um, guests at my house also reminded me that guests can be a little nosy. <laughs> Have you ever had a guest come into your house and then go through your medicine cabinet, you know, when they're not really looking, look at your toothpaste and kind of judge you? <laughs> I've developed a defense mechanism against these type of guests that I'll share with you. Before they come over, I just replace all my toothpaste and my shampoo and my medicines with tapeworm, pinworm, and ringworm medication. <laughs> they never came back, especially not for dinner. Thank you.